If you are training at home, but you don't have access to a pull-up bar or rings, here are 26 back exercises that you can do. So if you've got a sturdy door or an upright, you can do a towel row, squeezing the shoulder blades together, pulling the elbows past the body. You can make that a bit harder by going at an incline. Again, keeping those elbows close to the body and squeezing the shoulder blades. Progress it further by going to a one arm row. So really using the core to resist rotation. If you have a bench or a table or even two sturdy chairs, you can do Australian pull-ups or horizontal rows. This was not a safe setup, don't recommend that. But two chairs can work, um, particularly if you have someone sitting on them. So really squeezing the shoulder blades together, pulling the chest through. If you've got access to some weights or tins of beans or something heavy, chuck a backpack on, struggle like I did, and you can progress by doing a weighted row. A backpack works better than a drawstring bag. Don't have any weights, you can make things a little bit harder by lifting one leg off the floor at a time for a one-legged row. You can also try archer rows, which are great for working on imbalances. So you're pulling slightly more to one side at a time. Resisting rotation with your core. Moving on to some isometrics. You can hinge at the hips, stay tight through the core and squeeze the shoulder blades together. You can play around with some different arm positions as well, going up overhead. It's great to activate the mid and the lower back and also the rear delts as well. You can also play with some wall slides. So up against the wall, you got your bum, your lower back, your mid back, and your head against the wall. And then you're sliding your arms up overhead and then elbows down towards your side. So really trying to stay flat against the wall. These elbow rows are kind of another option. So you're squeezing your shoulder blades together and pushing with your elbows against the wall to bring your chest away from the wall. You can also make this harder by doing it onto the floor. So you're driving your elbows into the floor, which is then gonna lift your chest and your head off the floor. So we're really trying not to crane the neck. We're just looking up. If you have a sturdy bench or a stool, you can do reverse hypers. So we're keeping a posterior pelvic tilt, tucking the tailbone under and really squeezing the glutes. It's a great exercise for the lower back. Floor pull-ups are another option if you've got a nice slidey floor. So you're squeezing the shoulder blades back and down and engaging the lats too to bring your chest through. Bit of a strange one. Supermans are great for engaging all of the, the posterior chain. So really squeezing the shoulder blades together, tucking the tailbone under, lifting the upper body and the legs off the floor. Bird dogs, another great one for stabilizing through the pelvis. So we're extending with the opposite arm, opposite leg, and contracting through the core to prevent that rotation from happening. If you have any access to weights or anything heavy, really, you can do a lat pullover. So you're staying tight through the core, keeping the ribs down, and then using that weight to open up through the shoulders. It's a great one for improving overhead mobility and the strength of your lats. Similarly, you can do a bent over row. So we're bracing through the core, squeezing the shoulder blades together, trying to pull the elbows past the body. Progress that by increasing the weight, or you can work on a single arm bent over row. So we're getting a little bit of rotation through the thoracic, but stabilizing through the core and through the pelvis too. If you wanna work on some power and strengthen the lower back and the glutes, you can work on some kettlebell swings, it also works with water bottles or a heavy backpack. So we're driving with the hips and the arms are just an extension of that force. Similarly, with a one-arm swing, the one-arm swing requires a little bit more control through the core as you've got to resist rotation. It's all happening in the hips. If you have some bands, they can be really useful 
You can do pull apart where you're squeezing the shoulder blades together, activating the rhomboids and the rear delts. Another great exercise for your posture is a face pull. So you've got the setup slightly above your head. You're pulling the band towards your face before you externally rotate through the shoulders, squeezing, scooping under. Twisted rows are great for activating the opposite glute and lat. So I've got my left leg back and I'm pulling with my right lat and rhomboid. You can progress that by adding a step back into it. So we're staying tight through the core and rotating through the mid back. It's a lot of transfer over to lots of different athletic movements. You can set up if you've got a sturdy anchor point for a seated band row, squeezing the shoulder blades back and down, pulling the bands into your sternum. And you can progress this by working on a one arm seated row. So we got a little bit more core involvement because we're trying to resist the rotation 